Hey guys, it's Josh, and welcome to Let's Plays Animes, the channel where I cover anything related to anime, animations, and video games. And welcome back to our next My Hero Academia reaction video. Um, happy Friday if you guys are Patreons, but happy Monday if you are everyone else that I still love. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to get right into uh, My Hero Academia um, season 2, episode 19 here. I heard from a couple of the Patreons that this episode is filler, but I don't mind doing it. It's My Hero Academia. I'm pretty sure that it would be cool filler, um, or that it will at least be interesting to watch, so I don't mind watching it. A couple announcements before we start. Um, one, we have a really big business proposition coming up for the channel, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um, a company reached out to me this morning about uh, kind of being interested in playing with a few ideas that they have for the channel. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. And you guys should be too, because it means a lot bigger things for the channel, uh, which means more content for you guys and um, more fun for you guys as well. Um, the second announcement. Is that there will probably be a new person on the channel, like, have like the freaking smash like a challenger has appeared but i of course have to screen them and everything make sure that they're cool with scheduling and cool with you guys and all that stuff but there will probably be a new girl um to enter the channel which is pretty cool pretty exciting again don't take explicit stock in that and no bria is not completely gone like i'm not replacing bria or doing anything weird like that bria is in miami right now so that's why she's not here um, she's living her life, living her best life. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, get right into the video. Uh, before we start, of course, as usual, you guys can go ahead and follow the personal social media right here of Let's Plays Animes, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and then also we have a Twitch, so when I start streaming video games and stuff like that, um, or if I do the, like, the next live stream for, like, the next subscriber checkpoint, I'll probably do it on Twitch, so you guys probably want to go follow the Twitch just so that you get notifications for whenever I do a live stream. Not like you guys won't get an announcement here when I'm going to plan to do a live stream, but, you know, just in case. M maybe I just want to go randomly live one day and not let anyone know. <laughs> but yeah, definitely go follow the Twitch um, and then follow our Patreon if you're interested in that. Um, definitely allows you to do a lot of cool things. Join the LPA family Discord so you get to interact with me personally over the Discord. I talk with everyone on the Discord there. Everyone's really cool. I love them all. Um, and then you also get early reactions uh, and then you a level will get to full reactions and then um, a level will get to also our bloopers. So um, definitely, if you guys are interested in any of those, I would definitely look into joining the Patreon. And, uh, yeah, check out our, so like, our personal social medias down in the description below. Give the video a like if you like it. But with that being said, let's get right into the reaction. So it's going to be My Hero Academia, Season 2, Episode 19, Everyone's Internships. Let's get it. Okay. Dang, this man's still in the hospital bed. I thought his... Oh, well, he did get his um, ankle sliced pretty hard. Uh, endeavors, just like... Yeah, I didn't do it, but that's okay. Uh, he went back home. What about Todoroki? Oh, uh, relatively light injuries. Yeah, aka none. Band-aid on the cheek. They said he defeated the hero killer even though he didn't actually do it. I want to see his expression! He's like, yeah dad, that was me. You always know that it was me. Everyone's internships. Let's get it. It's possible though. Best genius again. Oh my god, his freaking neck jeans, bro. I can't. Why can't they just let this man have his own hairstyle? <laughs> he said if we see villains, we about to beat that ass. What is this girl? What is this man? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, <laughs> not the slime villain incident. Bruh, his hair turned back to normal, I'm dead. So what did you say, I'll beat you up? Gunhead. Okay, you're talking about fighting, if you get shanked in the streets. She said, you sure? I'm gonna stab you. Kirito mode, let's go. Okay. They attack directly. Okay, low-key learning stuff from My Hero Academia, real life stuff. The pivot, the grab, the takedown, the kick. Araka's about to be like Rock Lee. It's funny. Let's do it. They look so weird doing community service. Yes, Mr. Porkine! Oki Mariner. Oh, this is where Froppy went. Nice. Froppy! Serious. Okay. Water Bay. Apple juice and soda water, I assume. Filler character? Because she's too good looking to be a filler character, bruh. There's no way. She didn't even make him the pouty face, bruh. Okay. Seal man. Just because frogs have big mouths. That's funny. Yeah, uh, this is the Navy. So this man this is literally a Navy seal. Ah, I see what they did there. <laughs> Go me, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she low key blushing. Whoa, she looking at the goods, bro. <laughs> Chill. No, no, no. She's still blushing, bro. He's like, oh my god, Froppy's like, how cute. This boat looks like when a when a boat's taking off from like a city in a Pokemon. If you guys have ever played the Pokemon games, pretty funny. So are the Stoys villains? Sekai! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she thinks he's cute. And everyone else does it. Oh, okay. He's been about to go ocean searching. I hope we get footage of that. That'd be lit. Oh, that's exactly what I said. This man has, like, flipper. Oh, my God. That's so cool. Selkie spotted seal. Oh, my God. That's so cool. Uh, this man's using, like, echo, uh, sonar. Please tell me he's not filler, y'all. This is too cool. Maybe the characters aren't filler, but with just what happens is filler. I'd be more, like, willing to accept that. Oh, I thought that was them for a second. Confirmed the logo. Okay, so you found them. Flare, I was expecting like a, the red type of flare, not like a blinding light. They look sus. The red and blue over here. There's nothing down there but fish. Wow. They are sus. Oh, so this man's not even a part of it. See, I told you, they, they look like some goons. The goon brothers. So they're squids? Oh, so they're just, they're actually the goons and there's a boss. That's funny. Good to hear. Okay, that's why she's at the sea. Okay, they're like the perfect team. Let's go. Oh, there's a yellow squid thing now. Oh, this is a girl. Captured. <laughs> Snatched up. So shut up. Ooh, she said that we won't get rough with you.
Look at that. Froppy's hella useful. Oh, what is that? Eight? Oh, yeah. Squid. Man, it's like the squid boss or something. Oh, shiz. The villain. Yep. I thought. This guy's character design is tight, though. Oh, she got a knight. Oh, rip. Never mind. She don't got nothing. Oh, dang it. Her quirk is not good for offense. Or offense. Come on, Froppy. We will negotiate with strangers or villains. Don't worry about me. I'm a filler character. <laughs> Even though I actually do like her character, though. Oh, let's go! She said, F you! Ooh, the t Oh, no! Oh, dang! Not like this. Oh, snap, he's fast. Or fast enough, rather, because... Oh, what was that? Oh, he threw the two guys! Let's go! My brothers! <laughs> oh, Navy Seal boy! Yeah! Oh, you squared it. Ikidaz. Oh! This man is too nice. Dang! Let's go! Oh! Oh, Mike Guy! Dynamic entry! Oh, ate all that. Let's go. <laughs> this man is OP in the sea. OP in the sea. My body's the only strong thing about me. Music, okay. Mm. 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 <laughs> they, they like tied his arms to a pole. Oh my god, that's kind of funny. This is why I told y'all I, I always love animation when they're like nearby water and stuff. They look, look so good. Look at this sunset, bruh. She's already an excellent hero. Yes! Froppy? She about to be the leader of the Marines. Oh, what the heck. Let's go. That was lit. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. So that I guess that was filler, but like that was a tight filler. Like you got you guys were telling me a filler like it was going to be bad. I guess filler is always associated with like bad things nowadays though. Like I mean, it kind of just is its own thing though. Like the filler was mainly focused on Froppy. And I guess everyone else too, but not really like, it wasn't really a filler that was like demeaning like what was actually going on in the story. So, you know, it doesn't, doesn't really affect anything, I don't think. Um, unless Froppy like randomly just says like, oh, like I remember when I was at internship, blah, blah, blah. Like maybe, I wonder which part of his filler, I don't really know, so I can't really comment on that aspect of it but they definitely had a lot of cool action it's uh really cool to see like the sea heroes and stuff like that it's really funny and punny that they had like a navy seal literally which is uh that's ridiculous <laughs> but the music that they had near the end and the animation like they definitely put good animation into a filler so like come on now it, it was it was pretty cool um but the ending is ending here on the tv so We'll see if there is an end credit scene. And... Let's see. I can't imagine there being an end credit scene for a filler. Yep, there's no end credit scene, just the preview. So yeah, basically, I don't know, that was really cool. Um, if the screen looks a little dark right now, it's because I tried to record while, we, while it was actually bright outside because this camera does better with natural sunlight anyways. 
um, rather than artificial light. Um, but yeah, it's starting to get a little dark outside. Sun's getting a little low, big guy. For the, for those of you who get that reference, I love you. <laughs> but yeah, um, this this episode was really really clean. Like, uh, first of all, the seal guy, selfie, uh, best best hero, best hero of the sea, bruh. He was like literally. <laughs> Boom! And then he hit him with, like, the dynamic entry. This man squirted ink in his eyes and said, you ain't nothing. And he literally, like, he hit him with the, the mid-air dodge, bro. That was, like, so saucy. Also, Frosty, uh, Froppy was doing, like, you know, she was doing okay as well. But, you know, obviously she can't fight, like, a full-fledged villain. Which is funny. They need, like, a name for that group. Like, the Squid Squad or something like that. Freaking Squid. Squid Squad. I almost said Squidward. But, yeah, the Squid Squad, like, the brothers, first of all, you need to dress them up look differently because they just look like some goons from, like, the get-go. From the very start, they looked like some goons that had, like, a boss and they were evil. So, I, I can't believe that they fell for the whole, like, looking into the area and then, like, getting pushed in there. Because those brothers don't even seem like they could push them when that swole. But I guess even if you add, like, a little momentum, like, you can push a big object and then... The object, especially if it's a person, just, like, does the rest of the work themselves. But, um, yeah, it was, re it was really cool. They had a few bits at the beginning with, um, with Best Genus and his whole, like, neck gene. Like, his neck is so long, bro. Like, if it's like if my neck ended here, literally. Like, that's where the gene was coming to his neck. And he was like, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> like, like... Hey, guys. Oh, my God. It's Best Genius. First of all, I can't see that being a hero that I really, really admire. Like, he's going to have to do something really tight with his powers for me to be like, okay, Best Genius, I was wrong. You're tight. You're tight. Like, chill. Don't hurt me. But uh, then they had Bakugo, like, interacting with the kids. And basically, he's teaching Bakugo, like, you need to have a connection with those that you're protecting, which I think that that's something that they've mentioned, like, earlier in the anime as well where um, it's better to, I think it was in the OVA, actually, which, by the way, is a Patreon exclusive, so if you guys haven't seen that, it's on the Patreon, but um, OVA 1, they mentioned that you need to have a connection uh, between those that are doing the saving and those that are being saved, because it makes it easier for them to not panic, that way, All Might, like, that's why it's so easy for All Might to save people in situations, because he's like, he's already established himself as, like, the hero of, uh, or, like, the symbol of peace, so when people see him, they're, like, instantly relieved, and they're willing to listen to whatever he has to say, rather than being distressed about the situation, so that definitely helped you when you have, like, a good thing going for you, but it also wasn't the, the sports festival that they even saw, it was, like, the slime villain, and it was cool how he went up to them, and he was like, yeah, I was just thinking of a plan, I know it looked like I was getting slime, slime down my throat, and I was choking, but I was really thinking about a plan, a plan to defeat him. <laughs> and then Deku came in and he ruined my whole plan. <laughs> like, come on, man, you were going to you were going to die. You, you were going to eat bite the dust. Another one bites the dust, bro. <laughs> but um, who else do we have? We had Jiro and like a mini death arms with death arms. Um, we had fourth kind. And uh, Kirishima and uh, Tetsu Tetsu, they were picking up garbage. That was pretty funny because they just looked so weird in, like, the volunteer, like, the volunteer outfit or whatever like that. Um, they had, you know, of course, Yayorozu and the uh, hero Umbambwe or whatever, the snake hero. I just want to call her Medusa because she has, like, the snake hair. Um, and then um, what's the girl's name from Class B? The one that has, like, the big hands. Uh, her, like, they just weren't doing any work at all, which sucks for, um, Yaya Rozu, because it seems like some of them are doing really, really good hero work during their internships, and some of them are just, like, wasting time. So, like, Bakugo, I guess you wouldn't consider him wasting time, because he's learning, like, moral things, but as far as, like, actual combat abilities, he's wasting time, because they haven't done anything combat-wise. Um, Midoriya, Ida, and Todoroki, they're good. They're Gucci. They've been training, like, in uh, Midoriya and Todoroki's case especially, they are training with their respective um, internships, which is Gran Torino and, um, and Endeavor, to get stronger. So, and they, like, understand more situations because of that. They're able to think more clearly. So when they go, when they actually, situations go down, they're able to just think about it really fast and then just be like, oh, I went through this at my internship, I should do this. Or I've fought someone fast like Gran Torino before. I should do this. Or 
Um, my dad taught me how to complain, uh, control. Uh, I remember Todoroki saying that he couldn't control the flames, like the he couldn't regulate temperature with his left side yet. So maybe that's what he'll learn from Endeavor, like how to do the different temperatures of flame. That'd be pretty cool because we saw Endeavor use like that um, the blue flames to like fry that one Nomu's head off, but. I'm definitely really, really hyped for the next episode. Like, this just proves that My Hero Academia is really, really great. Because even on the fillers, like, they know how to do it justice. And they know how to make me feel like it's not a filler. Like, Naruto, you know when it's a filler. They'll be chasing, like, some dog. Like, some little ninja dog for, like, half the episode. Sometimes it's not even a ninja dog. It's a regular dog. So, like... You know, they definitely do a great job of making filler, not really filler. And they're also doing a great job as well doing the season pl placements the way that they are because they take breaks with the season so that they don't have to continuously give you content like every single week and drag it out and just make it like really dumb with fillers and stuff like that. So it's really good that they're pausing in between seasons to actually put their best animators on the job and, you know, kind of get everything animated. But uh, they've always been really good at um, animating over there uh, at their studio. So uh, props to them for making me feel like it's not a filler. Definitely enjoyed the filler with Froppy. Also, like, the little captain guy at the end being like, uh, I, I like, uh, Froppy's not a hero yet. She's a student from uh, UA, but she's already an excellent hero. That was, like, great. I just, like, wish that this whole episode was canon because of that. Like, it just, like, the whole episode just seemed like it was, like, an actual thing that happened. But um, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Maybe I got told it's filler and it's not. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I think that wraps up uh, my reaction slash review of episode uh, 19 of season 2, uh, Everyone's Internships. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, letting me know what you thought about it. Be sure to subscri uh, subscribe and click the bell button below. And um, if you guys are interested in the Patreon, you guys can check that out down below as well, like I mentioned in the beginning. And with that being said, like I said at the very beginning of the video, uh, have a happy Friday, patrons. Have a happy Monday, non-patrons. And I'll see you guys on the next one on Wednesday or Monday, depending on who you are. Peace, guys.